started, you gotta digitally sign our legal waiver. Just kidding, f*** the legal waiver! You're in tour gland now, sucker! Just head to the arena when I play you a sick guitar solo! It's a lovely day in Flame Rock Refuge. A far cry from- Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is, it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music, and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Hey, this area kind of smells like butts and dead people. You know why we made the gobbler invincible, Torg? So you could kill him. After dozens of failed attempts by other contestants, you were supposed to finally kill it on camera while wielding our most expensive guns. You would have looked like a hero. Why be a hero when you can eat one? are the dumbest person in the world. I paid several other contestants to kill you if the gobbler can't, Vault Hunter. You and Torg will pay for your idiocy. Here comes the ravenous Waddle Gobbler! We've replaced this creature's normal food with poison! Let's see if he notices! He took the bait! Now just don't die until the poison takes effect! You found some fruit. Good. Now. Oh, 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 for the love of... Sorry, Murray just shot himself in the leg. Hey, Murray, know what'll cheer you up? Some vitamin C? Sandman ate my parents! Oh, suck it up, Murray. If you wouldn't mind hurrying, Vault Hunter, I believe these savages are attempting to summon the son of Cromorax as I speak. Hey, man, don't call me a savage! Oh, you speak English. I thought... I graduated from Eden 4 Megaversity with honors! Check your privilege, dick! Bad news! A diseased midget fell into the Black Label Brewery a couple of weeks back, which means all our beer is poisoned as f and has to be recalled. Kill anyone holding a beer and bring back all the tainted bottles you can find. Eggs. The genesis of life. The beginning of creation itself. And yet, so nummy. So very, very nummy. Just slather shift spike in those condiments. It'll be gross, but at least uh, it'll... <laughs> I guess it'll just be gross. The last chance, Tor. Call this off, or you're out of the company. What? I'll just work for my chip. Pro oh, hey, Vault Hunter. What's up? <sighs> hey, Gettle. Can I have your wig? Oh, I'm sorry, but this wig is wired into my friend or foe subroutine. If I were to remove it, I'd go insane and probably die. Cool. Oh, I kind of need it for a quest, though. But it's just a side quest, right? You could just, like, not finish it. It's not worth ha, 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 killing my girlfriend and I, is it? Yeah, I mean, you'll still have the quest hanging around in your log, but that's not such a big deal, right? Sorry! Kind of! Conversation! The next guy you're looking for is named Blendo, and he wants to kill Salvador in order to avenge, uh, uh, you, uh, everyone, you killed his entire bandit clan, Sally, all 150 of them. That was a long weekend. Keep killing those bandits with bullets so they won't be killed by poison beer! And gave us these presents, perhaps as an apology. He wanted me to nasty. sing my heart out, so I snatched it! From his chest, boy, the song. Mm -hmm. 
Tom, three swinging midge, all in my fridge. Teeth a rattle, tatin', nice and shaking, shaking. Soon my nasal spray will be three midgey fillets, warming up my tummy just like my mummy. Hello, who are you today, tonight? Do you think my face looks all right in this light? Sometimes I think maybe I should drink, but then I feel a sudden that maybe I should summon someone to feed me that will never leave me, but then I'll be not who I say is me. But then a little bee said to me, it's better to transcend reality. So though I may be very senseless, I can keenly see great immenses. Dada doodle, all the noodles come to play with me. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, thank, thank you. I promise I said you opened the sponsor beforehand, but I'm fucking disorganized as shit and was busy suplexing a shark wearing a bolo tie when I should have been setting up sponsors. You may ask, who was wearing the bolo tie? You were the shark. Answer, yes. Skeleton, and his name is Mr. Bony Pants Guy. I am Mr. Bony Pants Guy. Yeah! You got all the bottles. Thanks for killing those bandits, so the poison beer couldn't kill them. Oh shit! I just realized that made no sense. God damn it! You see, Sir Reginald von Bartlesby, aristocrat and riddlemeister. If you can solve one of his brain teasers, you'll get a reward. Well met, adventurers. I have a riddle for you. I am everyone and no one. Everywhere, nowhere. What do you call me? Everybody roll your insight stat to see if you can solve that riddle. I shall repeat the riddle. I am everyone and no one. Everywhere. Brick, don't slam your dice onto the board. You broke Tina's figurine. Whoops. Uh, you won! Yay! You finished Pyro Beats bullshit! Now go talk to him and he'll probably tell you he's gonna give you a sponsor. But then he'll betray you and try to kill you and you'll have to kill him and it will be awesome! Anything you wanna add, Pete? No, you, uh, covered it. Thanks for that. You are welcome! Yes, the queen went into the forest. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second, and... Whoop, time out. I gotta take this. This Tina. It's Mr. Torn! Tina, put me in the game! Okay, the gatekeeper is now Mr. Torn. Woo! Rafael, I to see you. Wow! 
So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case, you gotta prove your bad attitude to get past me. First task, blow up the village of scouting blimps with the fire weapon. Because reasons! We just destroyed the village's only way to see approaching threats. We had no reason to do that. Fantasy! All right, that ass task too. Go to the town tavern. Ugh. Buff Gamer here. Today I'm reviewing Diamond Mercenaries 2. The gameplay is pretty dull. It sucked. Six out of ten. F what? Diamond Mercenaries 2 was awesome. Falls under. Find that asshole and kill him because I disagree with his review score. What is a crumpet anyway? It is a griddle cake made from flour and yeast, traditionally eaten with butter. All I ever eat, son. Ever? Seriously? You should literally be dead. No, dog. I gotta live forever. Thanks, sugar. Oh, oh, come on. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll never say nothing douchey again. I promise. Bitch. That is unacceptable. Chase him down. Punch him so hard he explodes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tia, this makes no sense. Torg is ruining Stupid your campaign. Nonsense. I'm having fun. Well done. You're now badass enough to survive the forest. I resent you for disliking a game I spent money on. Time to die. The Vault Hunter's going after Motor Mama for the number three spot on the Torg leaderboard. I'm glad somebody is actually making an effort to fight other gladiators. The rest of you horks are just sitting around waiting for challengers to come to you, P***ies! New mission! I want you to blow up the ocean! The Vault Hunter wins! <laughs> what I tell ya? Ladies and gents, the Vault Hunter is now the number three badass on Pandora. This is one number higher than four! Well, uh... Well said. Your kind words are appreciated! You enter the forest of tranquility! Tranquility? Boring! Hmm. Okay, good point. Dang, now I gotta come up with a better name for the forest. So you got the number three ranking. But you know what you don't got? A body fat level of under 1%. How many pegs do you have? Two? I have 13! You are nothing compared to me! Nina, I need you to do me a favor and eat some salad. No, 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 no! Morty, hold her arms. Brick, keep her mouth open. No! You food fascists! You can't... Don't let her bite you too hard, Brick. She gives a taste for blood, we're gonna have problems. You know what you are to me, kid? You're a tick I can't burn off. You're an itch I can't quite scratch. You're a piece of goddamn broccoli stuck in my teeth. But soon, I'm gonna get rid of you for good. You ain't broccoli? Broccoli tastes like butt. Torg, why are you even playing? We all know you aren't actually interested in nerdy stuff, muscle boy. What? I can't like geek stuff just cause I take care of my body? DISCRIMINATION! Oh, no! Ah! just because it's trendy. The stealth sections of Triangle Quest 9 were a great change of pace from the regular gameplay! Burn in hell, you bastards! So cold. Light the bonfires. Need souls. Moxie, the Torque fight fans want to know. Moxie, Moxie! I want to be on the show. Tina, don't! Tina, I'm going to be on the show. I'm going to be the star of the show. Moxie, who the hell is that? Just a trainer I hired. Don't worry about her. 
It's the Tina Show, start with me, Tiny Tina. Tonight our special guest is Mr. Tug. Mr. Tug, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, Tina, I'm 43. I'm the founder of the Tor Corporation. Don't encourage her. That's the end of my show. I'd like to thank Mr. Tog and my musical guest, Kyle Moderation. Good night, everybody! So, did you actually want to ask me the question, or...? Tina said good night, Moxie! Show's over! Motherfucker! Man, you guys are being super exclusionary! Look, when I was a kid, boys mocked me for two reasons. My tattoos and bunkers and badasses. I suffered for my geekiness. You don't get to invade my culture just because it's cool right now. Holy stack suck! Repressed anchor much? What's this? <laughs> the Falconer is breaking into Tor security. What a renegade! A renegade cop who no play by nobody's rules until the commissioner assigns him a talking robot dog for a burger who helps him track down the crime syndicate that murdered his family, all the while teaching him a little something about life and the process Thursdays at nine. Last question. In the 23rd episode of the 15th season of Blue Box Adventures, what is the name of the ship that abducts the Blue Box? I don't, uh... I don't know. Ooh, bad luck, Torg. Looks like you're not a real geek after all. Why? I'm just interested in sci-fi and fantasy and unicorns and Why can't I be part of your game? <laughs> Wow, I, uh, I kind of feel like a dick. Me too. Torg, I, I, I'm sorry. I, you can totally join our game. You can give out side quests in town or something. All right! You guys sure are the best. Where my mama didn't name me Mr. Torg! Wait, your first name is Mr. Torg? What's your last name? Flexington! This is Flyboy with a message for that vault hunting noob sauce. I am the future. You vault hunters are old noobs. I'm the new hotness. Don't be jelly, you rook. I'm just gonna K your race so hard, you'll beg me to S-Y-I-T-F. What do you think, fans? Can the vault hunter's experience prove stronger than Flyboy's youthful arrogance and weird ass slang? Almost certainly, but I'll pretend otherwise to maintain dramatic tension. The souls. Holy crap, that was annoying. Thanks for your help. I died like 80 times trying to get through those traps. Look, we gotta be careful. The guy who killed me and stole my souls is still somewhere around here. <laughs> Speaking of jackass, let me take him out, would you? And off with that creepy laugh, douche. So y'all heard of this flyboy guy? He's a noob. Just stick to the fundamentals I taught you and you're gonna be ace. What fundamentals? Eat lots of cookies. Shut the hell up, Moxie! You don't understand my process! I take it back, girl. You know I love you. You forgive me? <sighs> I guess. Sure. Whatever. You shall not pass! R-A-T-F? We have to unscramble that? Is it raft? I bet it's raft. That not the password? Oh god, I just figured it out. So say it. Fine, it's art. <laughs>
You ruin everything. Try stabbing me in the back while I drink from my flask now, jerkwad! Hey, thanks again. I got something for you. I feel wise as right now. I must say, you've done a tremendous job, Vault Hunter. Oh god, she's using her dressy voice. Once you become the champion, you are personally invited to a wine tasting at my summer home in the Highlands. Oh, and please do not invite Sir Reginald. After conversing with him further, I discovered that he is violently racist. Man, that quest was dark and ironic. A true look into the duplicitousness of interpersonal relationships. Now come see me so you can explain what the hell I just said! Hey, another Vault Hunter. You here to kill the monster too? Well, buzz off! He only spawns like every ten minutes, and we were here first! Get away, Ispa! La 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 la! Get ready, everybody! It's spawning! Stay away, Vault Hunter. But now it's time I fought you in single combat. Gladiator versus Gladiator. Versus... Giant goddamn Metal T-Rex! Pistin, you cheating bastard! I think it's time to show off my true powers, Apprentice. I'm gonna summon an Archdemon, then destroy it with my amazing skills! I need you here to clap wildly and tell me how awesome I am. Ready? <laughs> Come thunder! <laughs> Come lightning! Touch this altar with power frightening! <laughs> <laughs> This sword's got the power to revive the dead. It might come in handy. Here, take my sword gun. Oh, man! But what if the sword you shoot explodes and then turns into three smaller swords? Which then explode? It will be like a sword explosion! Tina, make Roland's gun do the things I just said! Okay. That badassosaurus is the greatest mechanical marvel I've ever seen! It is the Henry the Fourth of robotic dinosaurs. Oh, looks like you got him angry. Just kill him and yank out the sword, Huckabut. It's still super weird that you're trying to make Roland talk like that. Your face is super weird. Oh, wow! Give me five, Rick. Oh. Hell yeah. Uh, Tina, all these dwarves look exactly like Salvador. This seems kind of. Uh... Yeah, I know, Free Lily. You think it's racist or something? I'll sell downstairs if he thinks it's racist. Hey, Salvador! 
Is it okay if all the dwarves in my campaign look like you? That is awesome! Booyah! Not racist. Who dares enter my court with weapons drawn? Guards! Kill them! You've made it to Jeffrey's court. Kill his guards, and the little jerk will have to take you on. Destroy that intruder! Psst. Are you referencing that Echo Net show? I never watched You may it. not you run! What's well, gonna take you? You think this was awesome? I only saw the Echo show and they ain't even done with the second book yet. You haven't read the books? They're so good! Really? How did they get kind of good? I mean, kind of, but there's still some good scenes. You could just wait for the show to catch up, though, or that's fine. What the hell are you people talking about? Wait! I just sat through a bunch of references I didn't understand. Can you at least reference something I know, please? Oh, BKB, what's your favorite show? Uh, that one with the rich duchesses, where they're trying to get married. Oh my god, that show is so good. Okay, Mordecai, a stuffy aristocrat appears. Hello. If you so wish, you may converse with him about etiquette. My valet is having some trouble. I fear his limp from the war is impairing his ability to properly sort my coats. Oh my god, this show sounds stupid. You're stupid! I say, did you hear the lewd rumors about Lady Everly? Apparently she touched a foreign diplomat directly on his wing-wong. Ah, I remember that episode. She totally did. <laughs> Last night, one of my servants inadvertently put too much salt on my chicken! The gall! The unmitigated gall! Ugh! So, so good! You know, right? You guys are dorks! I tell you, Torg, this is a legendary battle between good and evil, between cowardice and heroism! Between giant metal T-Rexes and things that aren't giant metal T-Rexes! Well put! Ah, no! As you step over the corpses of the unfortunate knights who tried to murder their queen, you know you've come to the right place. For who else could possibly bring the light back to the world? Who else but the most beautiful, most glamorous, and most graceful queen in history? But Stallion! I don't know why I'm surprised. She is beautiful. And that, boys and girls, is the story of how the Vault Hunter became the champion of Pandora. You forgot the part where the Vault Hunter kicked Piston the ball so hard he exploded? Because that never happened, Tina. Irrelevant! Calm down, Torg. You've got other things to worry about, like giving me your arena so I don't tell your stockholders about this little tournament. How the f*** am I supposed to know that illegal off-world deathmatches are illegal? Sugar, 
I think this is going to be the start of a beautiful relationship. And in the days to come, they'd think of their fallen friends. Of the adventures they shared, both real and imaginary. And they'd remember that no matter how bad things got, they were never truly alone so long as they had each other. I love you guys! Oh. And then Claptrap said something stupid and ruined everything.